In the last century, sailors nicknamed it Little San Francisco, or Jewel of the Pacific. Valparaiso, a large port in Chile, was a wealthy cosmopolitan city until the opening of the Panama Canal. Valpo, its new nickname, has today become the capital of Graf. Its history can be read on its walls. The color of the house's walls is already a tradition. In the 30s, the School of Beaux-Arts opened a mural workshop. In 1963, a mural explosion taking place, and in 1968, under the influence of Pablo Neruda, mural art was campaigning for Salvador Allende. In the 70s, the American hip-hop influence could be seen on the walls. Since then, the students of El Paraiso School of Beaux-Arts submit their works to popular appraisal. 1973 was the year of the coup d'etat, the dictatorship, and 16 years of artistic silence. All paintings with a social character were destroyed. Pinochet's soldiers controlled the streets. A few artists, who had gone clandestine, resisted. The wars were progressively taken over once more by the people. Muralism became a collective means of expression against oppression. Slogans reappeared. Against dictatorship, we'll paint as high as the sky. The dictatorship was toppled in 1990. The city became colorful again and did honor its motto freedom of thought and freedom of art.